Preparing for the worst, today police in Springfield had a training session for responding to violent incidents like an active shooter. I was out there today and here's what I learned. Um, where that is that there is that active violence occurring, we're preparing to stop that violence. Sergeant Justin Myers has been with the Springfield Police Department for 15 years. He says the Springfield community has a strong responsibility to hold violent incident and active shooter trainings following the terrible loss at the Thurston High School shooting in 1998. Especially in a community that has, has experienced this um, back in, in the late 90s at, at Thurston, I think it's, it's, it's different than anywhere else that hasn't experienced it. Obviously, everyone has to be prepared for it. Um, but ours happened and, and we know the stakes firsthand. He says they owe it to the families who lost loved ones as well as the survivors to protect their community, including schools to the best of their ability. Today's training was held at Mohawk Elementary School, which is not currently in use. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, obviously these are the incidents that are few and far between, uh, but when they do happen, they're significant, they're high risk, high stakes. Um, and we want to prepare our officers to respond as, as best they can to these types of incidents and the time for them to learn is not when it's really happening. The Springfield Chief of Police says the major failure of police during the Uvalde school shooting has really emphasized the importance of the drill here today. What generated this training is the failure that we saw happen in Uvalde. We cannot let that happen here in Springfield. We will not let that happen here in Springfield. Springfield police tell us they try to hold trainings like this as often as possible as tactics evolve.